Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today it's Friday, and that means we're using Super Vice Bell. So I did edit the deck. You guys know that, you know, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, I can't believe I named him that, is coming out soon in the TCG. So I decided, you know what, go ahead and put him in the deck. Let's go ahead and try him out. So um, let's go ahead and see if destroying all face up attack position checks except for himself, and then poking you directly from 3,000 damage will be put in that work. And I opened up beautiful. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry to say it like that, but, whoo, this is a good hand. This is a really good hand. Like, next turn, I, I can do some things. I can make, next turn, if this goes off, because I'm going to go, go ahead, summon Pitch Foolish, because I'm going to be sending anyway, because I'm going to be summoning Armageddon Knight, so, you know, that's one of the things, advantages of, you know, summoning a summon monk. I will go ahead and get my effect, which will then send a dark, which, of course, I, the first thing that you always send in this deck is Doom Shaman. First thing, it's kind of like a tutorial, kind of, you know, I mean, at this point, you guys have probably seen, like, I don't know how many episodes of Vibe and Wine, but, yeah, always first, Doom Shaman, then you make a level of chain, and then chain, and I do have a, a, a level of chain in real life, DT rare, so, you know, you don't have to worry about me, you know, playing cards that I really don't have, I have one, <laughs> it's expensive, <laughs> I know chain is expensive, chain has been expensive for a cool minute, it's like 30 bucks now, I apologize if you want to make this deck, but log of the chain is a key play, and if you want to play this deck to the full potential, you're going to have to pick one up, so now I have Doom, I'm going to tinker in the graveyard, next turn I can go Silent Doom with the Super Vice and go completely ham, like this one, that's, Duh, Supervise. That's the reason why this deck is called Supervise the Bell. Because Doom Shaman plus Supervise equals Synchro a lot of play. Sometimes I can win duels without even summoning you, Bell. So, definitely, that's really good. The only thing that sucks right now is that I have Dark Riffer in my hand, so unless I draw, like, a level a level 10 or higher... Oh my god, are you summoning Ball in? Oh no, you're summoning Lead. So, whose effect is going off? Uh, when this card you can special summon one item from your hand. You get a spell card? When you do, you can target with... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's effect? Who's effect? Who's, who's effect allowed you to get the spell of trap? I thought... That's from the graveyard. Graveyard. When you do target one of Bispel Karma in your graveyard and add a target to your hand. Megalo is the one who gets the one from her. How did... How did you search for the spell? No. No. From Grave. It says right there in your card. Read your card. When you do, you can target one Abyss Spell or Trap card in your grave and add that target to your hand. Grave! You're thinking of Megalo. Megalo searches from the deck. Lead grabs from the grave. Read your own card. Read your own card. Okay. Okay, take one and put it back. Put one back into the deck and shuffle, because... No, no. Put one... Of the spells back. Put one of the spells back. Put it back. Because you never would have got... Because you, you didn't search. Because you didn't search for one. No! You do not get one from deck. No! Read your card! Read your card! Are you shitting me? Read your card! Read lead! Are you shitting me? Read your own fucking card! There you go! So, you equip the monster, uh, gains 800 attack, so you be 35? Yeah, 35, so I lose... What's that, 27? No, 17. 17. And that's obviously Sphere, so I don't have to worry about that. Actually, Night Beam that shit. Pew! Fuck you, Sphere. Can't even chain. Oh my god, I got double Super Vice. I'm about to go stupid. What the fuck is this? Okay, I guess. Well, I'm gonna, and this stops traps, right? When the effect of a trap card is activated, your opponent's out of field, you're gonna get it. I don't care. 
Silent Doom. I'm about to go. I'm, I'm about to go ham. I I believe I won this duel. I believe that's game. Supervise effects. You got nothing to stop me. I believe that is games. I'll go ahead and sync eight. We'll go ahead and go for Beals. We'll go ahead and go uh, Tinker Effect Chain Super. So we'll go ahead. It, it really doesn't matter order. They're both mandatory. Uh, do I want that? Not really. And we'll go ahead and revive Doom Shaman back. We'll go Supervise again. We'll get my effect again. We'll go ahead and summon Tinker again. And this is the reason why this deck is so damn powerful. Is because I can go off. Like Supervise and, and a revival card is just stupid. When I get double Supervise, that's game. Tinker effect chain super. We'll go ahead and look at it again. Do I want to call the haunted? I will take a call the haunted. That's fine. I mean, I won this duel anyway, so it's already over. But sure, use my normal summon for effect. Effect. Go ahead and summon back Tinker. We'll go ahead and sync eight again. I'm using Doom Shaman effect to summon a fiend from Grave. So, we'll go ahead and sync 8 again. We will go ahead and go into it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I guess another Beals, sure. Uh, Tinker's effect is mandatory. Supervise. Tinker effect. Equip it to a Gemini monster, I get my effect, and when I'm removed from the field, I get to select a normal monster in my graveyard and resummon it, which would be Doom Shaman. Uh, I'll go ahead and go scrap effect, target uh, Beals, and your. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you lost, so go ahead and quit. You lost. Because I'm going to go scrap effect, target Beals, target your lead, lead will die. Attack, attack, attack. That's over 8,000 damage. That's 8,800 damage, so I win. See, when you open up great with this deck, this deck just goes straight stupid. And the Night Beams have been working. I've been liking the Night Beams. They've been, you know, clearing up the back row along with MSTs, allowing me to go off with my plays. You know, I would love to play Royal Decree, but I also run traps myself, and this deck really needs Call of the Haunteds and um, Limit Reverses. Now, if you guys want to, and this is just suggestions for you guys if you're making your own version of this deck, you guys can go ahead and take out the Call of the Haunted, replace them with the new Soul Charge card. You can't get out your Battle Fate, but you can summon you send your Dead Synchro back, and you can summon uh, Doom Shine back, and then you still got your normal summon. You can go ahead and do that. Like I said, you can't get out your Battle Fate. But then those calls that you replace, you can kind of try to jimmy in, you know, Royal Decree, because the only chapter then you'll be running is uh, Limit Reverse. Me, personally, I'm not going to do that, because I do not like... Um, I personally do not like Soul Charge, so I will not be running it at all. Like, it does not exist in my decks at all. I I do not condone Konami making that card, therefore I will not be playing it. But if you guys want to go ahead and do it, you guys can. So that's your own personal choice. So we're going to get nice and set up here. I'm guessing that my effect is good because he's taking a wide response. So I'll go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight will get his effect. We'll go ahead and drop Doom Shaman. Now, the thing that's going to suck is he's probably going to turn this, because once per turn, this card can't be destroyed in, by battle when it's defense position. So even if I do make the level of chain, it won't be able to be destroyed. So that sucks, but uh, I'm going to need to get set up. I'd rather have him in attack than in defense, where he can just turn to attack and run me over. So I'm probably going to get 101, but you know what? That's fine. And we'll go ahead and drop Tinker. And once again, now we have access to our synchro plays. So uh, go ahead. I can't kill you. Oh, Alias. Alright. Well, alias can run me right, right the fuck over, so... What? Okay, do you want to overlay? Is that what you want to do? How are you summoning... What? What? No, that's not how that works. 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 I'm tired of going against scrubs. That is your normal summon. 
You can re-normal summon it next turn to its name to become Neos, but you don't get to summon Neos. Put that back in your hand. Put that back in. Okay. That's uh, not how it works. You know, I know Gemini's. I use Doom Shaman. I know Gemini's. That's not how that works. So next turn, you can use your own summon to become Neos, the name become Neos. I mean, it's a pretty good card. It's a 19 beater. It counts as a normal monster, so you can use Gemini Spark. You know, it's probably one of the key cards in, you know, the Elemental Hero deck, of course, when it's still played before Shadow Sky Band. You deserved it. <laughs> so, uh, now what are you going to do, sir? You want to kill my Lava Chain? Go right ahead. What? You gotta call me? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Like, what do you mean, call me? Like, on my phone? I'm not gonna give you my number. What the hell are you talking about? You can't call admin. Don't worry, I know how to play you, Gil. I wouldn't cheat you. I don't need to cheat. I don't need to cheat you to beat you. That's one of the key things that I always, you know... I know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, there's some things that, you know, game mechanics that, you know, I don't realize. But, you know, the basics, I got. So, I don't need to cheat you to beat you. Alright, draw. Silent Doom, awesome. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna Dark Hole you now. Definitely gonna Dark Hole you now. Because I'm about to go off with Silent Doom and Doom Shaman, so. And we'll go ahead and make the big man himself. So, we'll go ahead and go Silent Doom. Which is, uh, funny... Oh, in your graveyard, in your graveyard. I would say if it's in either graveyard, then I could summon your Neothalus, but no. I'm good. I will use my normal summon for effect. Effect. I am a Gemini just like your alias. We'll go ahead and summon Tinker. What? What? What about him? What about him? What about them? What? What did I do wrong? Yeah. Sink. Eight. And we will go ahead and go to the big man himself. Bills. Tinker effect. Let me see the top card. Do I want to MST right now? Not really. I'd rather have another revival card to tell you the truth. And Bills, go ahead and attack directly for 3,000. Go ahead, sir. It's cool. It's cool. Totally cool. You watch on your own accord. You don't have to watch me. So, Bills is very powerful right now. Can't be destroyed by or by card effects. You can banish me. You can bounce me. Which I definitely think that you'll probably do. Oh, okay, whatever. You can summon him. Okay. Uh, go ahead and draw another rival card. It's cool. It's a little bit slower. And this is the one time that, you know... Oh, no, because then I still couldn't conduct my battle phase, so... I'm going to go ahead and... He wouldn't have said it if it wasn't something that could handle Beals, so I'm going to go ahead and Night Beam it. If it couldn't handle Beals, he wouldn't have said it, unless he's bad. You know? But, whatever. I'll go ahead and Night Beam it. Like I said, I've been liking Night Beam. Night Beam is just like another MST. Just destroy your background. Why are you clicking around my field? Night Beam. Destroy your set. Destroy it. You're all clicking around my hand in my fucking field. Night Beam your shit. Destroy it. Destroy your card. Destroy your card. Destroy that. Destroy it. Thank you. And you can't even chain to it. Okay. Sure. I will go ahead and do Rhoda. I will search for Armageddon Knight, because I guess technically we still need to send you Bell to the graveyard, so... I will go ahead and normal summon Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight will get his effect. He will go ahead and drop you Bell while you shuffle in your deck. There's no reason for you to be shuffling your deck. Armageddon Knight, attack your Avion. And Bills attack you directly again for 3,000. I will go ahead and set this and pass to you. So like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and do that for your super bike, it wouldn't be a bad play. 
You don't get to conduct your battle phase, but you can summon all of your monsters back, even if it's just Doom Shaman. At least that's 1,004 monsters reborn. At least you don't have to wait a turn, and like I said, then you can actually play Royal Decree, because then the only trap card you would have would be Limit Reverse. So that's totally up to you. In my opinion, that'd be a very, that'd be a more powerful deck than this version right here. But, like I said, I refuse to do it. I refuse to go ahead and do that. You know that you search it and add it to your hand, then summon it, but you know what? If you want to skip steps, I don't give a shit. No, 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 no. You only get one normal summon. Only one. That's the basic mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh! Only one. Unless you play anything that augments your normal summoning, like double summon or chain summon. Okay. That is resolved. Why? I don't want to quit because I w I'm going to win this duel. But I want to quit because this guy's pissing me off. Like, I'm sick and tired of babysitting his ass. Fuck it. I'm going to win. I'm going to get a night kill your Avion and Bills attack you directly. That's game. Alright. Attack directly. Done. Done. Drop your right point to zero and I made defeat. Thank you. We'll get one more in, because I apologize that I'm sitting, sitting here having to babysit my opponents, but... You want to go again? Isn't this the same guy? Really? Really? That's what I was, that's what I was about to say. Really? You want to go again? You really want me to beat that ass again? Because I literally just smacked the living shit out of you, and yet you pop right back in. And the only reason... Usually I wouldn't remember my opponent, but because I <laughs> remember my opponent, because he was so fucking bad. And I literally had to babysit the shit out of him. So, no thank you. No, thank you. You too. You know, my rating may be 100 zero, but that's because I don't do rated duels. But seriously, dealing with people today, oof. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of the night beam. Effect, do you play uh, Effect Veiler? You want to go ahead and do it? Go ahead. Usually, I would summon Armor again, right? But this time, I'm actually gonna summon Dark Garden because I have you Bell in my hand, and I definitely need to get you Bell out of my hand. Actually, you know what? In this deck, not really, because I can always summon you Bell back with. No. I don't have Limit Reverse. It might be better just to summon Armageddon Knight, just to make him think I have an extra card in my hand, so. Yeah. Because if push comes to shove, I can always summon the Ubell back out of my hand with Doom Shaman, if I need to. Which is, you know, one of the classic plays and the reason why almost this reason the whole reason why this deck was created and evolved in Supervised Ubell is because Doom Shaman could revive Ubell from your hand or graveyard and then during the end phase you'd have to tribute a monster, you tribute Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman would then destroy Ubell and then you get terror, so So I'm past you. Is that a monster? That's it. Is that a monster? Whew, and I drew another Night Beam. That's all you're gonna do is set a monster. So I'll go ahead and get my chain effect again. Might as well deck thin. Deck thinning is deck thinning. I'm not gonna send Terra. I'm actually gonna send Ultimate because I might summon Terra in this duel. I don't know, so. So well, we'll go ahead and, uh. Go ahead and swing. Swing will remember a normal monster in my graveyard, which will be Doom Shaman. Use my normal summon for effect. Effect? Is that okay? If you want to veil me, go right ahead. If you want to neg one yourself to prevent me from, you know, summoning, go right ahead. I know I hear some people are like, well, if you prevent your opponent from plussing, then you're not technically negging. But nothing is removed from my field. Look, I have six cards on my field, right? One, two, I have six resources. One, two, three, four, five, six. My opponent has six. If he veilers me, I still have six, but my opponent has now went down to five. So, Technically, it's still a neg one effect, Veiler. You took him way too long to respond. Go ahead and sink eight. Sink you and you to go ahead and summon Beals. Sink your effect. Show me that supervise. Show me, show me that supervise. Call. You know, I'll take call just because I have another revival, quick revival in my hand already. So we'll go ahead and have Beals attack your monster. I'm liking these night beams. They're just like MSTs in the sense that I'm using them. Except my opponent can't respond, but in the sense that I'm using them. You know, you can always do stuff like dust or nail and stuff, but this card is immediate. It's like draw, okay, use my MST, use my my night beam, 
go off. And that's the way that I'm liking the stack. But like I said, the the Soul Charge Royal Decree version would probably be better, but like I said, I refuse to play that card. I personally refuse to play that card. I'm attacking your monster. Are you AFK? I'm attacking your monster. You're not responding to anything that I'm doing. You're probably AFK. You know, if you're thinking, then go ahead and type thinking. If you're reading, go ahead and type reading. I can't, I'm not a mind reader. I can't tell what you're trying to do. For all I know, you're AFK. And if you're AFK, I'm going to give you till 21 minutes. If you are not here by 21 minutes, then I'm going to quit. Because um, this video is long enough, and as you can see, the deck is doing fine. So if my opponent doesn't want to duel me, then fine. I don't want to duel them. I can just sit here and, you know, duel by myself. I can test my deck by myself, and right now it's looking pretty good. So you got 15 seconds to respond to me, or I am quitting, because I do not have all day to sit here and babysit people on DM. I mean, it's probably entertaining to you guys, because I get kind of frustrated, but no, I do not have all time, and I am done. It is 21 minutes. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and call them episode. I apologize for that last guy not doing anything, but as you can see, you can see the deck has been working really well. Lately, it's been working really well. I do not know why I've been opening up really well lately. Shit, even when I drew you bell first for him in the last duel, it was still like, well, I can always summon Dark Ref and send it, so, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with you bell and Zectors. Thanks for watching.